Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Let me go back. Good morning, everyone. Now, listen. If you want to come in to this progressive, innovative, spirited faculty, you're going to have to give me a bit more than that. Good morning, everyone. That's a little better. We can. Early, I know. I want to welcome you to uh, Western. I want to welcome you to the fa Faculty of Health Sciences. I want to tell you how pleased we are to have you here today. This is a, such an exciting time for you students, and I will get to you in a second. But let me first of all uh, welcome the parents also. Of the parents here, any Western grads from the parents? Hands up. All right. Maybe you could stand up and sing a Western fight song for us. Can you do that? No? Okay. I want to welcome all of the parents, um, and I want to thank you for also being here today to share in this exciting time with your son or daughter. Uh, I have two st uh, children myself at the university, one at the University of Ottawa studying French, and one in the Faculty of Health Sciences studying kinesiology. And I can see uh, your, when I look out into your eyes, I can see the, the great pride and excitement uh, that, that my wife and I feel as well. I can also see the anxiousness for some of you first time parents. I want you to know and I want to reassure you, this is a great opportunity and a great time in, in your child's life. And if they come to Western or any university, they're going to have a great experience. But thank you very much for being here to also share in, in our day today. Uh, how many first timers to Western? First time at, on this campus? Okay, a few. I hope that uh, like others well, on their first time, you will notice a few things about being on this campus. Number one, when you come through the gates of this campus, doesn't it feel like you're, you've arrived? It feels like you're on a, 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 a traditional university campus. The collegiate gothic look of our buildings that all match with the uh, limestone and the, just the campus beauty. My son and I have a, a little ritual, and we play this out uh, probably once a week in terms of coming into campus. He lives at home, and he studies kinesiology. And we come in through the front gates, and almost uh, once a week, we'll say, I'll say to him, Zach, you know, you're so lucky to be on this campus, aren't you? And he said, yes, I am, but you're lucky too. And I said, yes, I'm very lucky. I feel privileged to be in the role that I am and to work at this great university. But I tell you, Zach, if I could trade places with you, I'd do it in a heartbeat. And he goes, really? He said, you're the dean, and uh, aren't you happy doing what you're doing? I said, I'm very happy. But I, if I could go back and do this all over again, I'd trade places in a heartbeat. But I said, Zach, here's the catch. I get to be 20 again, and you get to be 56. And then he loses interest in my deal. This university is one that, that is known for, for a lot of things. It's known for a great tradition. It's known for an incredible alumni pride. It's known for great student satisfaction. Uh, the Globe and Mail does a, 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 they just stopped doing it, but they used to do a survey, and up until last year, they, they would publish the results of a student satisfaction survey. They would ask graduates which university, the, the university, to rate their university in terms of their satisfaction and engagement and how it prepared them for work and life. And you know, for 11 years in a row, the University of Western Ontario finished at the top of that survey. That's not surprising to me, having been here for 10 years. This is a great university. It's one with a great tradition. It's one with great pride. Uh, the academic programs are exceptional. We attract great, great students, and they get taught by wonderful uh, faculty members and have incredible staff member support as well. Now, I want you to know that in the Faculty of Health Sciences, having been here 10 years, that gets amped up even more. And I'll tell you a little bit about that in, in, in a minute. But today, students, my advice to you is the following. Enjoy every minute of this day. Ask every question that you want to ask of students, of staff members, of professors. Really determine, is this the place for you? As you walk around this beautiful campus, get a feel for the campus feel. Can you see yourself walking around this campus for the next four years? I believe that you can, you'll come to that conclusion. But I want to uh, certainly welcome you uh, with open arms and tell you you're going to have a great day. Now today you're going to get a feel for the university and, and for the Faculty of Health Sciences. The Faculty of Health Sciences is a large faculty. We're about 4,000 students across six schools. The School of Nursing, the School of Kinesiology, the School of Health Studies, which are our, our direct entry undergraduate programs, and then our graduate programs in physical therapy, occupational therapy, 
and communication sciences and disorders, which is the audiology and speech language pathology programs. Now, I'm pleased to tell you that you will get information on any of those programs, as well as graduate programs uh, at our, in our faculty today. So when you go out, you're, we're going to have information sessions for you. We have information booths as well. And if you go up on the second floor of our building, you can get information on our graduate uh, professional programs, PTOT, speech, and audiology. You're going to hear about all of the great things in these programs. And it, when you're thinking about Western and you're thinking about health, I think you're thinking about some great things because in the health area, we are going to need people. We uh, certainly need people. Naturally, our governments are, are we're, we're facing some challenging budgeting times, uh, budget times, but the reality of the demographics and society, we're going to need people in health. So it's an exciting time to be in health. And in fact, in a couple of weeks in this very room, we're going to host Jeffrey Simpson from the Globe and Mail. And he's our seventh annual distinguished lecture speaker. And he's going to be here to talk about health and opportunities. And that's a lecture open to the community as well as all of our students. And this room will be jammed to capacity uh, to hear his speech. Now, I get uh, many comments from people because inside of, I, I've told you about Western doing very well in all of these external surveys. Well, I can tell you the Faculty of Health Sciences does exceptionally well on the surveys that are done in our, on our campus. Number one, uh, it's a destination of choice for the best and brightest students. We have incredible interest in our programs. And if you come here, you're going to be studying with great students just like you. In fact, in, in January, we received word that one of our students earned a Rhodes Scholarship, which is a very, very prestigious award. You may have read about it in the, in the free press or in the Globe and Mail. But uh, uh, only, we've only had 11 in the history of this great university dating back to 1878, and the first one since the year 2000, and naturally the first in the Faculty of Health Sciences. So we attract great students. Now, I'm excited about Rhodes Scholars. Uh, don't, uh, don't let me really kid you. But I'm also very excited about the spirit, the engagement, the involvement of our students on our campus. Just a couple, just last week, actually, I was out with a number of our students that are involved in a Learn It Together program. It's an after school program working with children uh, to get them to make better decisions about health, literacy, and uh, engagement. And, uh, the Dream Team, which is an example of our students getting together to, to raise funds for the Make-A-Wish campaign, which is our adopted charity in the faculty. The, on Wednesday of this week, we, we uh, honored our students and their great involvement in the United Way campaign. We attract students that are engaged and want to make a difference in, the society, in, in our society, in our community, in our, in our faculty. And it's really, really exciting to, to watch all of that. So we attract great students that come here and, and want to make a difference. We say we offer the best student experience, and I can tell you the best student experience starts with the best students. So we thank you for your interest. Then you mix in some other elements. You mix in a staff compliment. Our staff members, many of them are here today, giving up their weekend, uh, their Saturday, to be here to welcome you. And the welcome is genuine. They love this place. They go above and beyond the call of duty to make sure your experience is a positive one. So that involves our counselors, our secretaries, our lab technicians, our, our members who just are here day in and day out to make things better for you. You'll find that when you come to our faculty as well. We're a destination of choice for staff members who want to come and work in the faculty. We're very proud of our professors as well. We're proud of our professors on a number of fronts. Number one, what they do with teaching. We take teaching very seriously in our faculty. We have awards to recognize uh, and honor our great teachers, and we put our, our instructors up for major awards. We think it's very important, uh, the teaching role. And you'll find that our professors are very committed to you in the classroom. But in addition to, this, to that, they're very committed to research as well. And that's important for you, because you want to be studying with professors who are on the frontiers of knowledge development in their field, who are respected in the, in the, in the uh, profession, you will read their work as well as the work of others, and you'll be very proud to know that they're your professor when you see their names in the literature. So that's also very important. Other things that are important, the faculty has been a great, uh, 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 we've, we've been very blessed to have the support of Central University. You're sitting in a building that's, that's relatively new. It was built in 2005 and is the, is the administrative home to the faculty. 
Uh, later this year, we'll break ground on a new nursing building, which uh, a nursing and faculty of information media studies, which will be just outside, and there'll be some connection to this building. In addition to the academic programs, we also are responsible for intercollegiate athletics and campus recreation. In 2009, we built a state-of-the-art recreation center. Five gyms, 50-meter pool, 20,000 square foot fitness facility, squash courts. Please include that on your tour today, too. And I tell you that because I want you to know the great investment that the university and the government is making into our programs. What I like about these buildings, this building looks like it's been on this campus forever. It's only until you get inside that you see how innovative and progressive this building is with amenities like our 3D theater used to teach anatomy that I encourage you to go visit. Our simulated hospital ward and simulated home care unit up on the third floor. Our uh, state-of-the-art research laboratories on the fourth floor and, and the third floor to support our, our researchers. So it's an example of the investment and the experience. You will get an outstanding education if you come here. Uh, state-of-the-art professor, state-of-the-art facilities that, uh, that really may, it will enrich your experience. But what is also very important is the student engagement piece that I mentioned. And we attract great student leaders, student leaders that are committed to making things better for you, and to help tell you a little bit more about that, it's my great pleasure to introduce our student president, uh, Laura Kreisch. Uh, Laura is from the, the uh, Arthur Labatt Family School of Nursing, and she is a student president, and she follows a long line of great, great student presidents that want to make our faculty, want to share with us in making our faculty a great place to work, study, learn, and grow. So as I turn things over to Laura, I once again welcome you. I thank you for being here. I will be around, as will all of our professors and staff members here today. Any question you have, we're yours. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am glad to welcome you here this morning to this beautiful, breathtaking university. And I hope you all have an opportunity. And I hope the sun comes out and shines for you. I think we can be happy at least that it's not negative 20 right now. Uh, it's spring, people. <laughs> it's arrived. Negative 2. That's where it's at. Um, so anyway, as the dean mentioned, I am a third year student in uh, the Arthur Labatt Family School of Nursing. And um, I began my presidency last year in uh, February of 2013. And I will be ending this year in April of 2014. And I will be turning my presidency over to the beautiful Morgan Jennings right here. Uh, she will be, she's started already, and we're transitioning, and uh, will be ratified in April. And we are so excited for her. Um, she will continue on the legacy of incredible leaders in this faculty. So um, I'm here to sort of give you the, the student experience. And, uh, let me tell you, just to start off, uh, Western is definitely the best decision I have ever made in my life so far. So our faculty, the Faculty of Health Sciences Student Council, along with the three school councils, Kinesiology Student Council, Nursing Student Council, and Health Studies Student Council, work together to uh, create one of the best student experiences. We have uh, events all the time, right starting from September all the way till April. Um, my uh, month of March is completely booked. I went home for reading week in February, and I told my parents, I won't see you till May. Um, so <laughs> they're a little upset about that, but they'll manage. So some of the different experiences we have, as the dean mentioned, is all our charities. So Dream Team. We have tons of events. We just had a yoga rave last week for Dream Team, which is the Make-A-Wish Foundation. We raised about $500 um, for the foundation, and uh, we had a fabulous time doing it. We, uh, a yoga rave is not an oxymoron. It is possible. We were raging and yoging at the same time. <laughs> Um, what else have we done? So we have Learning It Together. This is an incredible program where our students go out and they read to the um, underprivileged children at some different schools here in London and uh, bring them healthy snacks and things like that because as a nursing student, I've actually been in those schools and um, many of them, the only meal they get is breakfast at school and lunch and um, that's about it. So uh, it's incredible that our students, on top of all their schoolwork, um, uh, they go out and they do stuff like this. Um, our faculty has such a diverse range of um, clinical experiences in nursing, in kinesiology, and in health studies. And um, I myself have been able to be on the critical cardiac floor in University Hospital and witness open heart surgery. 
I have been at the Regional Mental Health Facility in London. I am currently at my community placement at the Regional HIV AIDS Clinic on King Street here in London. And I've got to work with so many incredible people and see, um, you know, just so many inspiring stories. And I think that that's what really, like, sets this faculty apart is, um, our students are like not afraid to get involved. We are ready to get in there. We're ready to get in the community. We're ready to get in the hospitals. And health is so, it's growing right now. It's huge. And um, I think this is where it's at. So more things about our faculty, though. You know, the day I came on campus, which was, oh god, like four years ago, because I came in grade 11, because I was one of those super eager students. <laughs> I came on March break open house. And uh, it was a horrible, rainy, muddy day. And I was like, I'm going to this university. This is where I'm going. Because I walked in here, and there were so many smiling faces. And I was like, how can these people be happy all the time? Like, why are they just so extremely happy? Well, now I know, because I'm one of those really annoyingly happy faces. <laughs> so you know, and I think, plain and simple, we love each and every day of our education. And uh, I think it's just because we care so much. We care about health. We care about each other. We care about this faculty. And uh, that's what really sets us apart. Um, we have a community of caring. Uh, and I think that's the most valuable thing. And I mean, you can obviously tell by the massive hearts on all our shirts <laughs> that uh, that's, that's what we do. Um, so some other opportunities is uh, are the sports. Uh, one of our favorite sports is intertube water polo. Those kinesiology students are all about it. So it's a whole bunch of people sitting in tubes in a pool at the rec center, and they throw a ball around, and it's absolutely outrageous. I've never played it, but it's hilarious to watch. Um, I was more of a volleyball person. Uh, but our students, like, honestly, Every day they're doing something. You know, they're here from like 8.30 till 6. They're here at night. They're here in the evenings. We never leave um, because we love it. And I'm in third year now. And people are like, wait, do we have to graduate next year? Like, I don't want to leave ever. <laughs> you know, so now it's time to start applying to grad school. <laughs> um, so, you know, I could go on for ages about this amazing faculty. But as you can see, all our students here with all our heart t-shirts, are really excited to talk to you. And they all have their own unique experiences. So um, I will wrap it up. And I will let you ask them all your amazing questions. And uh, I hope you get to know some of them today. So thank you. Thank you very much, Laura. And isn't that what the student experience is all about at Western? Here we have a top-notch student who entered uh, a program with a very high entrance average and worked as a student volunteer for three years and became our student president and did such a wonderful job. And right beside her, her twin Morgan is going to step in and take her place. Now, Laura, you said that four years was such a long time ago to walk onto this campus. Not really. I walked onto this campus 33 years ago when I became an undergraduate student at Western. I'm very pleased to be one of your hosts today and would like to spend just a couple of minutes to explain how the day will unfold. The opportunity is here for you to meet with people, first and foremost, the people who are involved in our programs, our professors and our staff, our academic counselors, and of course, our student council and our student volunteers, who you should talk to about their programs. Secondly, we want you to be able to see our facilities, both within the faculty and on campus. And third, we're here to talk about our programs. 